hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel today is a great day i feel so great um for those who didn't know i have been sick with covid um but i am feeling so much better today and i felt like yeah tell you guys some about it and how it treated me like i wouldn't have known that this fire was real until it got me you know so i do thank god that i am recovered today i feel so much better um there has been days where i felt really sick yeah so it was pretty bad and shocking when i found out i was positive and my kids were negative because we have been together the whole time and but i do thank god that they were negative because um i don't really like to see kids sick and imagine if i was sick and they were sick so day one um it was so weird um so the new year day uh i felt really really sick and but before that i've i have already been like dealing with like a chest pain since october but then it was just like an on and off type of thing so um i felt sick on new year day and my whole body started like feeling weak my chest started hurting me and my headache i got headache but then it's not like uh, any type of headache that i've had before this one was worse like all the pain like rushed into my forehead that like i almost felt like i was just selling i took some medication and it still couldn't like stop hurting um so and at the time i didn't really know what it was so um like i just couldn't take it anymore and i told the kids that we're gonna go do the covid test um so i book appointment thank god there was opening the same day that i book appointment and then we went and took our test and i got it like the same day literally i got it like few hours after and it says i got my first it said positive and then a few minutes later i got the kids and it said negative so right away as I, I started like all this negative thought just start rushing into my head and i started like thinking what might happen because i started thinking oh i might give it to the kids i'm so scared i'm so worried i started getting worried at the same time my head couldn't stop hurting like i didn't know what was happening at the so after the after a while i put my max on i put gloves on i was walking around and i tried my best to stay away from the kids it's like the kids did not really understand what was going on. All the all Jazzy knew is that we took the COVID test, but the rest it was just nothing. I didn't explain to her or anything like that because I didn't want to get her worried because she already know what it was. And uh, <clears throat> so I just had gloves on and I fixed their room, put computers. They have their iPad, their phones, and stuff in the room, and I started like staying in the room and i remember just opening the door and like um, i told her don't come in my room please stay out get out close the door and sanitize your hand and a few minutes later kingston came rushing into the room what happened he started crying saying jazzy and all i said was a king please don't enter the room go outside it's okay go call daddy and i told jazzy to call her dad and um complain about what is going on with king and stuff like that and they did um so the dad called and check up on us and i told him what was going on and he has like since i told him he was helping until today like a non-stop i really appreciate it and um so the whole time like when the kids are downstairs i'm upstairs so i will i thank god my sister made some food for them um my auntie made food and then uh, we had it in the house 
so after day two i felt really sick um i woke up in the morning came down like what i did the first and second day i made ginger tea and i had some i ate some cereal as i was on the phone with my sister i started like shaking i started sweating and i just couldn't sit still so i dragged myself upstairs i went straight in the shower with the hot water on my head and it felt so much better like i was okay for like a while while i was in the shower once i got down once i got out of the shower my whole body started shaking again and i felt weak i couldn't stand um i started sweating like crazy i like dragged myself in the room i lay down on the bed and like the whole room started spinning like i felt like i got drunk first time i got drunk it was pretty bad like the whole room was spinning it's like i was on the roller coaster that's how i felt like the whole room was spinning the whole bed the bed was spinning like i couldn't like you know um do anything and then i felt cold at a time while the whole spinning thing was going on and i put blanket on myself and i felt so hot in the second and i removed the blanket and it was just on and off on and off i just kept you know i was on the phone with my sister and then yeah after a while it just went away and i felt good like the rest of the day i felt good um and then the fourth day um it was kind of the same thing too when i had the minty i felt really sick again like it was so bad i felt like maybe minty wasn't meant to be you know good for my body at the time so um after i had the main tea on day four the same thing again i rushed in the shower as i was in the shower like the breakfast that i ate before the tea it couldn't stay down like everything came rushing back up and i just couldn't take it and um so the same thing continue on and like the whole day of day four i couldn't eat i couldn't like do anything and it was just the same thing over and over and over again so in the morning jazzy will go downstairs and make breakfast for she and king which is so good like the whole time she was such a good and a big sister she was such an amazing big sister um she literally they wake up and then she tell her brother let's go brush our tea they went down saying it would tell me literally in the morning i wouldn't have strength to get there I wouldn't have strength to get up and even if I did I wouldn't want to be around them so and then she will make breakfast for she and her brother and then she will set up her computer for her online schooling and then when it was time like she kept setting timer every time when it was time she start her like the whole time she was doing her online schooling the whole week I didn't even help her and then she did everything on her own which is good because I try my best to stay away as much as possible so i wouldn't get them sick but yeah as they went by i kept getting better doctor has been checking up on me friends has been checking up on me i thank god that everything is good i am well i feel healthy i feel strong my kids are healthy this morning i woke up with so much energy and stuff so i went ahead and sanitized the whole room and washed all the blankets and pillows and everything just you know to make sure you know <laughs> i wouldn't catch it back but yeah it just like i wouldn't have known that this virus was actually this serious until i got it because the first lockdown i'd never sat down like i was literally from friends house to friends house and like bars clubs wherever you name it i was there i was just you know chilling i didn't really care but this virus is real and it's very scary um everybody have different symptoms my wasn't the worst i thank god but you know i wouldn't wish this upon anybody at all it doesn't matter who you are but you know so it's really good to have like a support and also loving family and friends and um yeah i i just thank god that i am healed um god is wonderful so you guys i am now going to take 
my max wearing so serious i did before but not as much as i will so you guys wear your max be careful sanitize your hand wash your hand this virus is serious and it is literally catching people like crazy no matter how careful you are it always find its way to you know catch you but yeah be careful out there happy new year and i wish you guys um a wonderful 2021 and yeah stay safe subscribe and like comment and we'll see you in our next video